Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not? And I just figured out how to turn the lights on and off. Yes, it's so cool. But yeah, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica, where we're going to be doing some awesome Seamoth exploring and all that fun stuff. And Ooh, I don't like how that guy's like guarding that piece. Hmm, we're going to have to fight this guy? Maybe. You know what? Let's ram into him. Oh, I think I just, I think I managed to piss him off. No? No, apparently I scared him off. Maybe. Alright, regardless, if we do this fast, we should be fine. Should being the keyword. Oh, upgrade fragment, that's, that's worth the risk. Base upgraded. Awesome. Alright, cool. There's another one of those, uh, reef bags. These guys are majestic and awesome. Oh, here's another, uh, fragment thingy. All right, let's see what you got. Oh, ah, lag. Oh, what just hit me? Uh, ah. Oh, God, just as the piranha fish with four eyes. Here, get back here, you. Ugh. Yeah, I don't take uh, getting hit in the face too lightly. I'm actually gonna... Can I take you? Can I scan you? No. All right, well, he's, he's just dead, I'm guessing. All right. Well, let's go over here. Hopefully this guy doesn't decide I'm prey. No, we seem fine. Alright, let's just get this. Maybe there's another upgrade. No, apparently there's only one. Alright. Well, that's that. Ow. I just hit my head on the Seamoth. <laughs> that's great. Alright. Jeez, that guy's just like in the open water, this huge thing. It's, ah, so majestic. Like, like, you think about stuff like that and how like big and like just majestic these things are. And like, you think of like, say, modern whales and People actually like whaling? Like, come on, man. You want to kill something that majestic? My goodness. Alright. Ooh, there's another frag. Nope, that's a rock. There's more. I'm, like, those guys are the most aggressive things I've found. They travel in, like, packs. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Alright, there's one dead. Oh. I get back here, you. Yeah. Alright, I think we got them all. Alright, we also need to come out of here to actually, uh, drink some filtered water. There we go. We can also live a little bit off the fat of the land by eating some, uh, naturally occurring fishes that give us all the necessary nutrients we need. Maybe not water, but, I mean, eh, we can improvise, I'm guessing. Bioreactor fragment. Actually, you know what? Let's scan these things. Biters, appropriately named. No, I just want to scan you. I, I'm guessing we actually did. All right, let's just get back in here. The safety of the sea moth. All right, you get out of here. All right, he's dead. Yeah, I think he is. All right, the blood means all the blood in their bodies has. Did I just kill something? For... Oh, hello. Eh. Yeah. All right. All yeah. All right. So the blood spot means that all the blood in their entire bodies decided to be ejected or something. All right. Cool. All right. So let's see. Did we actually get them? Alien life forms, carnivore, scavengers, parasites. Ooh. Thin layer of helium. Interesting. All right. So biter, the only carnivore. Oh, they have a little things showing this guy is not friendly. Threat level? Oh god, I don't even want to meet something that's on the top of it. How do you even scan something on the top of it? Oh god. The peripheral movement of larger predators. Hmm. Alright, so I'm guessing he's like a he's, a... he's a carnivore, meaning he's kind of up on the food chain, but... Compared to someone like that right there, he is not. You know what? Let's, uh, let's scan this guy if we can. I think they're afraid. Honestly. Nope, nope, nope. I stood incorrect. Nope. Eh. Oh, oh god. No, my beautiful sea moth is out there, cold and alone. Eh, climb, climb. Alright, where is it? Oh, it's down that way. Hmm. Well, I guess while we're here, what did we lose? Oh no, I think we lost a Nutrigain bar. My god. Alright, so, what we gotta do is, I think we're actually good to go for the trip to get there. 
We gotta, we gotta save the sea moth. All right, and an air bladder that could help, but no, I think we're good. Laser cutter, no. Anything else we need? Thermometer, computer chip. Oh, it tells you the temperature. That could help me out. Like stick that in the side of my head. I now know it's 42 degrees or something like that. No, nope, nothing else. I guess we just gotta go in Leroy Jenkins style. I'm coming, sea moth. Don't you worry, I'm coming. I mean, I guess you could say, like, the one thing we could improve is maybe getting another oxygen tank. You know what? Come to think of it, let's go do that, actually. Alright. Eh. Okay, so, what we need is equipment. We just need glass, meaning all we need is, where is it? Two quartz. Alright, that should not be too hard, considering there is... I want to I wanna say so badly, I, I already see some, but sadly I don't. Wait, really? I missed the... How did I miss? I was thinking one of these things. Alright. Let's just get that, I guess. I'm guessing all the... Whoa. Lag spike. Oh, apparently I never went over this way. That's probably what the uh, cause for me not even actually grabbing that is. Alright, there's some quartz over there. Perfect. We should scan one of those guys and actually find out what they're called. Alright. Quartz and... Quartz. Perfect. Alright, let's swim on back and make the glass thing. And, I mean, it, it, like if you think about it, in general, just having another oxygen tank will really help us out. Alright, swim. Swim. Wait, can, oh, I'd love to be able to... Eh, yes! I was just about to say I'd love to be able to catch one in, like, midair, but we did it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go in here and... Actually, no, we need to build the glass first. There we go. And then... Oxygen tank. I hear something singing in the distance. And we have another 30 seconds of oxygen. I believe that is about... About two minutes, more or less. Alright, so we should be we should be more than fine to get down there. Perfect. Alright, let's actually scan this manatee thing. Maybe they're actually called, like, ugly manatees or... Something. I just gotta keep my eye out for any ocean dwelling baddies that wanna nibble on this human flesh. Alright, hello you. A gastropod. A, a gasopod. There's no tea in it. I'm stupid. Alright. Ugh. Don't poo on me. I'm just trying to scan your organs and everything. Alright. And. There we go. You are now safely in my database. Well, I like dropped that knife out. Whoa, just like switched to it. Right, instead of uh, fiddling around with the knife, we should get back to the task at hand, and I think we should stay on the surface until we're directly above it, and then we can go directly down. Sadly, we don't have the, uh, what's it called? The, like, portable, like, swimming helper device thing? Because, I mean... That's actually, a, I think, a blueprint, because I haven't found it in the uh, fabricator, so... Sadly, we're going to have to go without it for a little bit. Until we can find one. Alright, is that it down there? Oh, I actually even see it. Alright, let's get 100%. Alright, let's go a straight dive for it. And I, I just, I can't get over the lights. I'm going to say it like a million times how awesome they are. Like, you can see him here and... Is he attacking my craft? I just wanted to scan that guy, too. Alright, so. Oh god, this is spooky how open this area is. Jeez, those guys really like to let their presence be known. Alright, so I thought we were actually a lot deeper with the whole uh, Seamoth situation, but I guess you could say it's uh, better to be safe than sorry when you're in an alien Welcome ocean. Aboard, Captain. Hello, whatever your name is. Urgh. Get out of here, you! Ah! Ah! Stop nibbling! All right, you know what? Playtime's over. All right, where are you going? Get back here, you. I'm gonna ram you straight into the butt. Do we get him? No, he's running in here. All right, where are you going? There's not much place you can hide now. Oh, oh God. All right, I think I just backed him into a corner. He's in fight or flight mode. And I took away his flight, so it's only fight. Where is he? 
Alright, he's down there. He's hiding in the sand. Ramming speed! Alright, I saw some blood. Oh god, my... My screen is cracking! Oh god! Alright, straight in. Okay, it's dead. You can't hurt anyone anymore. Alright, can we scan you? No, we can't. Uh, that is truly a face only a mother could love. Well, let's get him open if we can. Eh. 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 No, well, regardless, we have proved victorious over the, uh, what, whatever they're called. I'm guessing they're the, uh, sand sharks. And we got cracks in our hull. You can actually see the cracks from the outside. Oh, that's awesome. Even though it's not awesome at the same time, I guess that is really bad. And I don't know how to repair this thing. Guessing we need a welder? I mean, that's like the only logical solution with something like that. So we actually can't go too far down. We're like, at the point of which it's like, either this, we go down to a depth of 125, I believe it, yeah, I believe it said. And then we have to use the bigger sub. Alright, let's scan whatever this is. Bioreactor. We gotta go find out what that is. Whoa. These guys are just so awesome. Alright, let's grab this other one right here. No, that's a rock. Okay, as it generates in a little bit more terrain. There's one. And there's a fish thing. Alright, we are not in a safe position to... Get out of here, you fish. Yeah. Alright, he's dead. Alright, good. Alright, let's go over here now. And, alright, where is it? There we go. You are... Another bioreactor. I mean, I'll take all the titanium, because, like, if you die, it takes away random items, not, like, oh, the most valuable. So, say you have, like, a whole bunch of, like, tools and all that, and you just have, like, god-tier amounts of, like, ura <laughs> uranium. I don't even know if they have that. But, like, titanium and all that. Well, it'll take away from the titanium, or, like, has a higher chance of doing that, because it's, like, random, so... Say you have like 30 items and 25 of which are titanium. I mean, that really ups your chances for being pretty safe in the li lines of, uh, you know, not losing something valuable. Whoa. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, I've actually never killed one of these. Oh, oh god, he bit me. <sighs> okay, he's dead. Alright, yeah, I've never killed one of those guys before with, uh, my little, uh, knife. It's the first time for everything, I guess you could say. Oh, I just can't with this light thing. Could you imagine, like, you're, like, working on a project and you have only the light of this thing? I guess like this, like, scanning this thing. There we go. All right, we actually unlocked the Cyclops. Oh, look how scary that guy's face looks. So dark. Let's let's get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, I killed something. Wait, what was that? Oh, no, that's just coral thing. You can actually use that and then some salt to make bleach and then purify water. Isn't that dandy? Ooh. That's a big leafy structure. Let's see what you are made out of. Because I believe that's the uh, blue fan thing. Purple fan. Purple fan seed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can also, like, grow crops and all that. Whoa. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Let's not and say we did. Like, look how creepy this is. It's so dark and just... I don't want none of this. I can't even see which way's up. All right. Hmm. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he's dead, whatever that was. All right, we're kind of going in a circle now, so let's actually go... Hmm. Maybe this way? Nah. We've kind of got... I think if we go straight that away, we should be fine. Jeez, there's so many of those sand sharks. Haven't even seen them before, so I'm guessing the restarting the, uh whole world thing was quite the good call or else we would have had like what like two different creatures because the other ones weren't even like implemented hmm is this thing even worth going to maybe not oh it's not it's not let's not say we did oh oh I'm bumping everything okay yeah safe death yada yada all right Let's look around here. I don't know what that was, but it did not sound friendly. Let's go towards it then. 
this is the drop off, I'm gonna assume. This is open water and it's going down. And something is screaming at this way. What are these, like stalagmites? Yeah, stalagmites are on the bottom, I believe. And stalactites are on the top, I believe. I think that's how it works. Hello? What are you? You're a weird little thing. Oh, oh, okay. Hull damage imminent. All right, let's uh, let's not exceed the uh, pressure limits. And what we should do is definitely start heading back now and maybe see about that upgrade thing. I think we can actually uh, I think it's like the upgrade patch. It might be something where it's like we upgrade the Seamoth where we can. Oh, I'm sorry, where we actually can upgrade, and then we can like put on different upgrades and all that. Jeez, that guy's just crazy cool, even with the cracked glass, which is just awesome. Yeah, I remember, like, they also added the, uh, the big, like, the Cyclops. It actually has, like, animations for if you get too much damage and then water starts coming in, the whole thing starts sinking. It's just, oh, God. Can you imagine that being, like, miles under? Oh, it's a nightmare. Well, regardless, our poor Seamoth is smoking. It's just in pain. We got these big guys just all over the place now. And 19% health, that's, that's not good at all. That's a lot of guys with raw- oh wow, uh, and they're gone- nope, they're just freaking out. But yeah, we only have 30% energy, so we're gonna have to uh, let the Seamoth take a little bit of a rest. And we gotta go see what this bioreactor thing is. I, want, I wonder if we make fuel or something. Alright, also these things, those are actually brain coral. If you bump into them as, like, you know, dire form, they poop out bubbles that actually give you oxygen, not full all the way. But they give you enough that it's like, alright, this can save you if you're just about to die. Alright, let's park it maybe here. Alright, let's actually go down a little bit. Perfect, nice in, in base camp. Alright, wait, let's see if we can actually repair it from here. Okay, let's see, one person submersible, nah, that's not what we need. Alright, let's go in here and check what the welder situation is, and also we should do a quick game save, because I haven't saved in ever. There we go. Nice and quick. Alright, personnel, tools, welder, functional and all- alright, we need magnesium. I'm gonna assume that's something that's really deep. And we need crash powder, what's that? You know those weird little, like, red creature things that pop out of that weird, like, boil or whatever it is and they explode on contact? That's what this crash powder is that I got from those exact creatures. Let's put the flare away. We have a uh, peeper. Let's just eat that. Eat the nutrient block. Mmm. That is something good. Alright. Do we have enough for water? Yes, we do. We have bleach. Perfect. Okay. And bleach uh, water is actually a lot better than regular water, surprisingly. Alright, cool. There's so much titanium. Alright, let's actually store a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean what we can. Because we don't really need that much. Alright, four, that should be fine. Okay, so we need magnesium to repair this bad boy. Hmm. Wait, what else was it? Oh yeah, we were going to check out the bioreactor. That's what we're going to do. Alright, checking here. Current generator, I'm going to assume it's not that. No. Nope. Tools. No, not seeing anything new in here. Just the welder. So we need, we just need, uh, cr not crash pad. We got like four of those. We can make four of these if we wanted. We just need magnesium, which I'm going to assume it's the same thing with like the, uh, copper and the titanium. Like the, uh, what's it called? The limestone block things. I'm going to assume that's how that works. All right, nothing in there. Electronics, maybe it's in? No, I'm not seeing the, uh, what's it called? The bioreactor. I'm guessing it's like a building block, maybe. Like, it's like an actual building that, you, like, you add onto your, like, underwater sea base or something like that. Well, hmm. Jeez, our poor little... Poor sea moth. It's, it's so awesome. And, jeez. Oh, that's the power set. Oh. I'm guessing that's how... Alright, so that's how we recharge it. Oh, that's so cool. It's not just like, oh, you look at it and... No, you have to look at the exact spot where the power is. Oh, that's amazing. 
I guess we have to put a whole fuel cell in there. Or something. Alright, how would we repair this guy then? Maybe we go to the damage spots? No, I'm gonna assume it's a welder to repair him, and then you recharge him with the whole... You, you just put a battery in him, kind of thing. So, yeah, that that's pretty cool. Alright, let's actually catch one of these guys, these weird boomerang things. Eh, not that hard to catch, but... Uh, man, is he creepy with that weird mouth. Alright, you know what? You're too creepy. Go free. I love how you can let him go free, and then he just swims away, or boomerangs away, I guess you could say. But yeah, anyway, I think right here's a good spot to end it for now. Next time we will, uh, basically we'll work on getting the welder so we can fix up our poor sea moth here and explore some more, like, stuff and get some more blueprints and eventually maybe make the cyclops and check all that out. We also have the underwater bases to do and, geez, by the time we get all this crazy stuff done, there might be another update because when they update, it's a big update. It's like, not just like, oh, look, a new thing. It's like, here's a whole new, like, tech tree kind of thing. It's just crazy. So, yeah. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.